Howdy, I'm Matt and I'm Dave. Hello. And welcome to today's Mastermind. Now, today's topic is going to be product research on eBay stroke Amazon. If you've never joined us for one of these, these are always really, really good fun. And if you're watching us here live, please get involved in the chat because we are going to be asking you uh, for your most random suggestion uh, possible or even a serious suggestion uh, on products which we should go and look and research upon uh, on the marketplaces here in the United Kingdom. Now, like I was saying, is that if you've never been and joined us for one of these types of events, they are always good fun because it doesn't matter what we hunt for. And we've had some really random suggestions, which we've actually taken quite seriously and gone off and uh, <laughs> investigated. Uh, and it, we always end up on this little roller coaster ride. And it? it's one of those fun masterminds where we can we like put ourselves in your position to see what potential products could be sold or should be investigated or should just be left well alone uh, on the marketplaces because there's the thing and it's the biggest kicker is that if you've got a supplier for one style of product or one like range of products the irony is to find the supplier of the associated same or very similar type of products is really easy for you to find uh, so that's what we'll be keep that in the back sorry that was the point which i wanted to make because keep that in the back of your mind once you find one thread it's very easy to find associated uh wholesalers manufacturers etc etc uh, on top so we're yeah we're going to be looking for some um peculiar suggestions from yourself but do keep in the back of your mind this is actually real life and we have yet to come across the perfect ebay listing it <laughs> does not matter if you think that whatever category you are selling in is that your competitor is the competitor is doing everything right there is always money being left on the table when it comes to ebay and that's what you want you just want that little edge and by the way sometimes it's great big gaping edges uh, available to you as a third party seller on the, on the marketplaces more often uh, than not it is big gaping edges it is, it's normally and that's what we're fully expecting today and you should brace yourselves for today as well we, we're, we're probably going to find some massive manholes of stuff which can be done very very easily and the seller us in plurals have overlooked couldn't be asked you know the general story of just being too busy uh, to to go back and maybe update an old list in one which is nearer the top and it's in that in those inefficiencies uh, is does allow for you as a third party seller as a, uh, a competitor to to sneak in uh, and just literally just undermine whatever is going on on the marketplace or, uh, in in a realistic time frame. Okay, that's one thing which we want to stress here early on is that I'm sure we'll find some gaping holes in some random categories on eBay uh, and we'll find there's definitely potential there. But do keep in the back of your mind, it's not going to be, all right, we're going to shut this one listing up and jobs are good in, done that's what somebody else did and that's why they've left the door wide open you know this is one of those things which is going to take a period of time uh realistically three months that might not be what you wanted to hear but me as you know myself and dave are uh, terrible realists uh and over the period of three months is that you will be able to weas weasel your way in uh, for want of a better acronym uh, or work your way to the top uh, and as we know, is that first page results on, well, anywhere really, get all the views uh, in short. So if you can work your way to the top for products X, Y, or Z, then happy days. That ultimately means more cash in the back pocket. Brilliant. Uh, so Dave, we've got the live chat going. Has anybody said hello yet this morning? Uh, we have, this afternoon uh, even. We have Nick. Uh, Nick Hartman said good morning, good afternoon. Um, everyone else has been relatively quiet so far. Um, don't be shy, guys. Come say hi. We don't yeah. bite hard. <laughs> Get a pop out chat as well. So, Nick, we're going to pin it on you. 
any other suggestions on a product range group which we should be looking up on the marketplaces? Uh, I tell you one thing. Uh, we're going to get start screen sharing. We're just going to get straight into the, the, the depth of this. Uh, mm -hmm. By the way, those that have just seen a whole collection of people have just been enjoying us here live. Uh, we will be doing product research today. So we are looking for your suggestions uh, on products which we could research for you uh, or even some joke ones we think we've done dog coats before what was it on foam tiles as well yeah. uh, for we had it. rose gold tea lights exactly yeah a few interesting ones indeed, indeed nick's think. just come up with hydraulic hose saw blades that's me being selfish for europe i sell them here in the states <laughs> Enough. Well, I've got no idea what one is. No. And that's the beauty. You probably don't have a clue what a hydraulic hose saw blade is uh, as well. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go and hit share screen uh, and choose present to everyone. So to give you a quick heads up, um, I don't know if you've been in notice this yet, but Amazon has literally changed their homepage within the last two hours, something like that. Uh, I know I'm saying within the last two hours is because I was on here looking for stuff earlier. Uh, and the homepage has definitely changed its structure. Uh, and uh, me and Dave were just chatting about this in the background as well. So if you've not seen that, do nip off in the background and see what the new homepage like uh, is for you. So whether it was just a homepage or if they're going a little bit further into product pages or category pages, we're not sure yet. But that home section has definitely changed uh, within the last two hours. Right, uh, let's get ourselves onto the top eBay. Let's go and grab Nick's suggestion of hydraulic hose saw blades. Right, what on earth is that? Oh, right, that's a pump valve hose. Uh, there's not many search results. There's not at all, is there? Is it three results for that Dude. for that term? So, um, Nick, for hydraulic hose saw blades, I would suggest that that's, that's extremely specialised. Extremely. Uh, because it's not even bringing up yours. Unless there's an American English translation somewhere which is not converting well. Easiest thing to do, ebay.com. <laughs> Nick says, that's good. I found the gap here in the States. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, we're struggling. We're struggling. All right, so I tell you what, we're going to just go off on a tangent now, okay, uh, is the hydraulic lines themselves, so they're the high-pressure hoses uh, which uh, connects up hydraulics, uh, are very specialised, uh, to say the least, okay? Uh, so that's not what you would normally class as a mainstream product. It's very mainstream for business. So if you worked with tractors uh, or heavy machinery, uh, but it's not typically the thing which I would have thought you'd buy off eBay. Uh, might be completely wrong on that one. Uh, when it comes to blades themselves, uh, is that they are a consumable now one of the nice things about consumables so i'll pick on these for a moment uh one of the nice things about consumables is that they're exactly that they're consumables they are a product which is expected to wear out you know, in um a short period of time ish okay if that makes sense i mean because it's horses for courses maybe if you've got one of the the one mil cutting discs uh, the uh, the material ones for an angle grinder is that you're going to blitz through that blade very, very quickly. So it might only last you five minutes if you're lucky. Uh, whereas maybe a diamond cut blade like this, if you're only using it for light use, it could last for a long period of time. Now, the thing is, is that with consumable products is that unless you have a very strong brand or you have a very strong or competitive price point, is that generally speaking, consumable products are not normally the best choice. They're, they're okay because they will always generate turnover. Um, and you notice how I, I chose the words turnover here very specifically, not revenue, turnover. Uh, they are one which can get repeat buyers back. Uh, but for what we would normally suggest is not go something 
it as a consumable. So uh, diamond cut and blade, you, you're going to go for that very quickly. Also, if you think about this logically, is that uh, they are going to be readily available. You can get, literally get, get them screw fix. You could literally from here, uh, it's within a mile. Uh, two stores within two miles uh, for Screwfix. There's a tool station not that far away. Wix is being Q. Uh, they are readily available. So as I was saying, you either need a very strong brand for a product or you need a strong pricing from a competitive point of view to give a reason for someone to, to go on and make the purchase. Okay. Uh, so cutting blades wouldn't be my first choice or definitely wouldn't be my first suggestion unless you have access to a decent brand. Silverline is a brand which was running around in the back of my head uh, or maybe a much more premium one. Uh, or if cost, you were able to, to source the product for an awful lot cheaper and then carve yourself a place out in uh, the market. Now, with that, with that said, I'm just going to quickly pick on this listing. Okay, we're going to give them 10 out of 10 for the title. They've probably used every single character in that title. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if we go back a second, there'll be somebody, oh, look, circular saw blade sharpener, 230. How many characters have they left off the end uh, of their 80 characters uh, available in the title? And that's what their, our point here is, uh, is that there's always money being left on the table. Uh, and if we scroll down, most of these are actually doing a pretty good job. There's Again, there's a 12 volt industrial hydraulic pipe cutting saw is that there's money being left on the table because ultimately you are paying eBay either a final transaction fee or an in, uh, and insertion fees as well, the big ones, the final value fees, every time you sell something. So it's in your interests and eBay's to a degree, well, large degree, that you use up every single one of your characters available in your title. And yes, they've been in use new on the end, but we're going to let them off because uh, you've got that far and you can see they keyword spam the living daylights out of it. And, and if you think about this logically, uh, is that, and there was, uh, I was watching Linus Tech Tips yesterday, Dave. Yeah. Uh, Brit, a YouTube uh, video, uh, was it Linus Tech Tips? I think it was. And they had this server board. And what the guy did was that, He'd done a search at the top, so hydraulic hose full blade, but it was something completely unrelated. And then he actually had a touchscreen laptop, and then he scrolled up the page with his finger, and then he, you could see what he, it was clear as day, because what he was doing was discounting certain product images. Ah, found the one she liked, clicked with his finger on that one, because that's what you do, that's what buyers do. They, they make a search, okay, whether that search starts on eBay or externally, and then they end up, on the eBay marketplace, and they've got a list of items in front of them, and then they've they've gone from text mode into oh, I'm going to click on that one, and he was literally just clicking on the screen, which is exactly what's happening on the people with their phones and tablet devices, uh, is that they're just touching, they don't then searching by picture, and of course they then end up in the product. So, to a degree, the title is only important to number one. It, sorry, is extremely important because it's normally the primary method of somebody finding the product okay and i by the way i make no apologies if we're covering basic stuff but i feel that all of us could maybe do a little reminder from time to time that how important a title is how important not only one image is but multiple ones as well because we're here talking about some saw blades but if we were on ebay uh, and we put in ladies dress which dave was telling me just a a few moments ago that he's just finished uh, receiving <laughs> emails from uh, Amazon from one of the previous videos where I got him to type in women's dresses uh, on there. Uh, but if you think about ladies dress, which you've just done a search here, can you see that we've got a whole plethora of colors available? Uh, is that when it comes to images, is that I've just added one extra term in the title, which is red and ta-da! a whole raft of red clothing all bar one <laughs> well, well white red herring uh, so there's obviously some red in there somewhere um uh, so coming back to my point title critically important the potentially the most important asset which you have available to you uh on ebay closely followed very closely followed uh by the image itself and you'll see the sellers obviously add a large uh image on there that's why we got the zoom in there 
they've also been and included multiple images too and you've got to think about this logically you you know this when you when you're shopping online is that you, you can't pick the item up you can't bang it around on the desk and you can't go oh yeah that'd be all right and try and bend it and stuff uh, and that's the thing is, is that when you're selling online it's actually very simple because and that's my view on this is that in, in the simplest way of looking at it is that you're providing a great title images description etc etc so that you're able to allow your buyer to make an informed decision on whether items the right item for them or not and that's this is as simple as you can you can make it now obviously there are other things which you can do including videos reviews and things like that some of it's in your control some of it is not uh, but we, as you know, me and Dave like to focus on the stuff which you can control. You can control the amount of images which you've included uh, on the listing. And eBay allows you to add up to a dozen images uh, on there. So if we use a dozen images, okay, so this has actually only been included uh, a couple of images on there, four images or so. Uh, we don't know if we're getting two. We don't know if we're getting four. Uh, there's also no size reference on here. I know there are four and a half inch disc and the average, the average person who's going to buy a four and a half inch disc uh, for an angle grinder knows what four and a half inch disc is. However, there's nothing wrong with putting a coffee mug next to them just as a sanity check that they're the right ones. Okay. Uh, we don't, well, we have free delivery. I quite like that. There we go. Free delivery 11th to the 12th of October, which is uh, two to three days away, fast and free. So they're obviously eBay are going to boost that item up. Uh, because there's a free option now here's the curiosity one okay and this is where most other sellers not me you and listening to this uh is most people make a screw up because they don't actually include an expedited option okay so we've got a free option brilliant they even allow collection in person which is happy days and they do have an expedited option for those who want the items quicker which is happy days okay uh, and that's the thing is, is that you should never overlook the power of urgency. If somebody really wants those, then they are going to prepare to either drive somewhere to get them uh, or uh, pay a premium, in this case four ninety nine, which for a pair of discs is probably a little bit excessive. So I'm guessing that was probably a standardized rule somewhere. Uh, $4.99 uh, to, to get the items shipped out 24 Okay. So never overlook that because it, it's easy money, isn't it? Mm. You can set a cutoff time in eBay when the for next day delivery, so they'll change the details on the screen, uh, and someone's going to pay a premium for next day delivery. It's like, why would you not include the option uh, for expediated delivery? Obviously, assuming that you have the item in stock and you're not doing any drop shipping or something like that, but remote stock management, posh words and posh terms for that. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> yeah, is that, we got to give that seller thumbs up for that as well. So this seller, I know we're just picking on a random listing which wasn't related to what Nick put in the chat, but they're doing all right. Good title, okay images, and they've used four, and they've obviously eight more which they could add. Uh, and obviously, uh, size relationship is always an important one. Again, if you're selling jewelry, for example, then put in a fifty pence piece or a pound coin. Uh, or a quarter uh, in mm -hmm. there with the actual product itself puts any form of doubt out of your buyer's mind they can choose something which they uh, uh, people can universally understand now of course that's in proportion because if you're selling a uh, a bobcat for example then you want a human next to it not a mug okay uh, scrolling down now we do have some sponsored items we'll probably not get back to that uh, today uh big one categorically money being left on the table 16 plus item specifics okay that's really what me and dave are expecting of you and that's what ebay are almost expecting of you as well okay for every item specific which you are not filling out okay app and it does vary from category to category you are leaving money on the table and it's great that the seller has included a brand an ian and a manufacturer partner that's great this means this item is going to be very very highly likely to be shown uh in google adwords okay uh, assuming the seller is top rated etc etc okay chances are quite high the seller has done the 
bare minimum, okay, mm. to get the item featured, okay. Well, that's pretty much as far as they've gone. They went to type cut off machinery, almost irrelevant, <laughs> uh, on their subtype. Well, they've managed to keyword spam diamond concrete blade, 150 millimeters in there. Uh, we could have done uh, measurement or uh, inches or a unit of measure. That's another couple of favorites from, from eBay and had the 4.5 inches in there. Uh, blade supply, so that has confirmed it, that it is four. Uh, but there are, how many other item specifics could have been filled out for this item? And, and I, I genuinely do mean this. Um, if you're not using 16 or more, and remember that is category dependent, uh, you're just chucking money away. You really are. E eBay gives you these fields for you to fill out. Uh, and this seller, in this instance, so again, I don't apologize if you're watching this uh, better on deals. Uh, I hope you take the feedback constructively <laughs> uh, on there. But you've basically just left a load of cash on the table. You're just throwing it away because you just not filled out the information. And of course, you listening to this as a professional seller, uh, which is leveraging the eBay marketplace, would never have anything less than 60, 90 specifics. And I am not kidding either, um, because if you do your research and go and look up other cutting discs, okay, and then get through maybe about a dozen of the top listings, and again, this works for any of the eBay categories. In fact, when I hit stop on it, is that that does work for any of the eBay categories, Go and find the top 12 items in any eBay category. See what other people are using for item specifics because that will tell you what is selling, okay? And take what you can from those and implement it into your listing. Uh, and that is such a beautiful process which can be done by not you, it could be done by one of, the, one of your team to go and do it for you. It's a very simple, repeatable, very explainable process which you can get somebody else to, to do for you and the whole topic of outsourcing is another one look back uh, in our backlog uh, videos on YouTube uh, and you'll see us discussing that a couple several times uh, on there but yeah item specifics you really are just chucking your money away if you're not filling them all out okay in 16 10 and then another six okay minimum uh, on that and it just but like I said it does vary from category to category uh, so do know your limits on that. Anyway, let's get back to the screen. Dave, I've been here getting really quite passionate about that, and I got as far as I am specifics. Do you have anything <laughs> to add to the conversation while I go and get this screen back up? Yeah, sure. I mean, it is. we talk about item specifics a lot, and it's, like I said, it's for a good reason. They are like the dynamite of your, uh, your eBay listing. Uh, and you see so many people who will fill in the absolute bare minimum. Um, and that's money on the table. I might say they're, they're leaving money on the table. They're search results, which they are not going to show up in because they've not been bothered to fill out a few item specifics, take a couple of minutes out of their time to, to think about what customers might actually be looking for when it comes to their product. So we've always said like the title, the images and item, the description and the item specifics are the backbone of a, of a great eBay description uh, a great ebay listing and it's amazing how many people still it, it's just four things that they have to do a good title good images good description and item specifics and it's amazing how many sellers still do not put time and energy into that even though that is how they're gonna win more sales so you'll often find when looking whether it be at new product ranges or whether it be uh, your competitors to see how you could be doing better you'll often find a way that how you can do better than them. The answer yeah. will lie in one of those four areas usually. Yeah, absolutely. And again, the, 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 the obviously saying, go and look at the top 12 items around the item which you're, look, which you're looking at or seriously uh, considering. Uh, and then when it comes to item specifics, I know, so I know so we've, we've heard it ourselves, so we've been in the same position as you is that, uh, you get stuck for which ones you should add. And actually, to normally, the answer is around you in other listings. So go and see what other people are doing, take the best of what you've seen around you, uh, and then use that as a reference. Okay, moving on, uh, we are gonna go and scroll down the listing. Now, 
Um, I'm not going to get into template layouts and things like that, but what I am going to say, it's quite clear. I'm not sure that I'm personally a fan of the light blue, uh, but I will say that they do have a logo on there, which is always a good start, which is A1, not 1A, as I read it uh, on the logo. But you've got white and red and black being used. That's why we're saying the blue is a bit of out, out of sorts here. Uh, they, I don't, I don't actually like what they've been and done in here. Okay, uh, we don't have a pop-up image, so we can see a bigger style image. They have repeated the title. Uh, they've got from, which is a bit weird. Okay, uh, which is that's actually the price of the item, wasn't it? Six pounds seventy-five at the top. Uh, and they've got RIP and you save, which if you say use a Magento uh, or an advanced tool of similar capabilities uh, with M2 Repo, for example, uh, is that you that is just two variables to price values, which you could have included either as actual price attributes or just text attributes. Uh, very, very simple to do in a template. Uh, they've gone into a little bit more detail in there and they have confirmed that you do get four blades. Uh, they, did, they did put the bullet points at the bottom, but these are so simple that, yeah, personally I would have had those round the other way around, but they're, they're, it's very quick to read on there, just confirmation for what they are uh, in there. Now, they do have this great category menu down the left hand side, which I think is a bit excessive. I'm sure you'll agree with me because look, I'm still scrolling. It's quite <laughs> long. Okay. Uh, so template definitely do needs, does need some work. Uh, why buy from us? You can compress that down to a couple of some, maybe four or five bullet points maximum uh, on there. I think they're probably doing it over, overdoing it there. Delivery and returns uh, again. Do you really need to put in there returning an item if it's faulty when you've already got eBay policies? Uh, we, we're me and Dave are long advocates of just kiss, mm -hmm. kiss approach. Keep it simple, stupid, uh, or silly. Sorry, uh, which is just to just keep it plain English. Okay, we've seen. I'm sure you've seen those massive, great, big, long uh, descriptions at the bottom of the page where they have all the terms and conditions of sale and blah blah blah. When half of it's a load of rubbish, and it could be just simplified down to one or two sentences, if that's even needed. Okay. Moving on, terms and conditions. Quite scary to say the least. Who wants to know about terms and conditions on there? Uh, product description is a bit of a fail. Uh, on there, they, they've done so well uh, when, I don't know why you've got product information in here uh, when you've already got it at the top uh, and you've got holiday closing times on there, which is potentially what you could do in advance if you're not using a template builder of some form. Uh, and it looks like they do have an ask a seller question. Scrolling down on there, read our feedback, which is just a straight link out to their feedback page. Uh, that, it has confirmed that they are in Newport, which was shown at the top. Uh, and it is A1. That's why I knew it was A1, not 1A from their logo. And terms of condition of sale is a bit long because um, you've got all the spaces in there. And what they've done is just put their opening hours in there, which is potentially a little bit naughty. Uh, but we won't go into that one. We really <laughs> should put, oh, look, oh, goodness me. Yeah, can you see? Would that not be really scary to you as a buyer? Do you hmm. go on Amazon and read that crap? Answer is probably no, you don't, because they don't allow you to put that on there. Uh, so, yeah, 30 days return policy, happy days, uh, and returns are accepted, so nice and straightforward. And they do have a whole collection of other items as well. Uh, and wow, those go up in price. I'm only ever used to buying the cheapo ones, so I'm now going to have a quick look to see what causes... Uh, concrete for asphalt steel, still 70 quid. I've never paid that for a, how big is it? Doesn't even say. Doesn't even say in the Iron Pacifics. How frustrating is that? It just says it's a TS410. So it's highly specialized, whatever it is. Uh, I'm gonna have a quick look at the other one as well. Very similar story on there for tarmac for uh, floor saw. So asphalt must be specialized. Uh, very specialized again because there's no cells on them either. Uh, anyway, let's get ourselves back onto the topic. So, uh, just quickly going back onto this one, there was no product reviews on this one either. Uh, that's always a downer uh, when it comes to buyer's confidence. If you think again, we can use uh, Amazon as a direct reference, is that most product, well, the products which have reviews, if you look at the Amazon bestsellers, 
uh, which I don't know if you knew that. So give me a second, I'll quickly Google it. Uh, best those UK, I'll put UK on the end, uh, is, let me get that up on here and I'll pop that in there. Right, uh, there is a list. I'll put this, actually, I'll put this in the uh, live chat for you. So I know somebody will ask me sooner or later uh, what the link is. Oh, great. It won't let me post it. Uh, <laughs> so basically, just go to the Googler and type in Amazon bestsellers UK, US, DE, uh, whatever your country is, and you'll come to a list like this. And look, top products, best-selling products, get large numbers of reviews, Okay, which is no big surprise because they're selling a volume on them. Uh, which is also quite strange that Mr. Gary Barlow, that must be new out because uh, <laughs> that must have just been released because they've got 22, re 22 reviews, which is so odd uh, in there to say the least. And I would guess that that might be to do with it not being released yet. I'm guessing or it might be un because uh, it's a video game, it might not be rateable because of the type anyway. Blah blah blah. But we'll get carrying on. 1300 body paint, 11 strange ones in here. More bestsellers in toys and games. Uh, gives you an idea. Yeah, 1300, 23. There's some definite odysseys in here today, Dave. Uh, there is, isn't there? Which you would expect the pirate pop up game. Really. Yeah. Uh, and Cards Against Humanity as well. 7,000 7, views. Give or take a few. Uh, coming back to my point. When it comes to eBay, is that let's go and do uh, what was it? Angle grinder, four point five inch. There we go. Right, six product rates. Oh, we've uh, when this is where we're getting into consumer. Uh, sorry, this is where we're getting into branded products. So Silverline being a brand, which I'm sure if you know how to work with Silverline, you'll find the other brands which are available to you. Enough said on that one. Uh, what we are interested in here is the product rating. So you'll see this is new for eBay. So items which have uh, an EN uh, or a uh, GTIN, okay, basically a barcode available to it, uh, is that it does make the item eligible for, a, for, for buyers to leave reviews or ratings on products. Uh, by the way, that's not technically correct because it's eBay's EPID system but it all means barcodes, basically. Uh, and customers are able to leave reviews on items. Uh, and by the way, they can leave a review and they can just leave a star rating and not actually leave a comment. Uh, and you'll see that, let, let's put it here, is angle is greater than great. Okay, let's face it, 21 quid for an angle grinder is pretty damn cheap. Uh, and if it breaks, I, I, I know the brand Silver Line myself, I've got a collection of tools which I've used uh, bought and I'm surprised they're still going to be honest I think I bought a drill for 17 quid uh, off eBay no it's not the best quality in the world uh, but it's still working now does it make holes <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, does do job. It, it does do its stuff uh, excuse me <laughs> sorry my sister quit a job uh, yesterday and that was a text from her saying I've just mum's just rung the evil manager <laughs> way off topic uh we're after, we're after the discs aren't we we've got two pacific discs actually dave mm -hmm. we were just here talking about ratings weren't we yep can you see any ratings i can't i can see a sponsored item at the top which is one great way of getting your items at the top of the ebay search results is to pay for it to go up there uh we will <laughs> never argue with that one and by the way, you should. Um, but if you've never tried sponsored ads uh, or whatever, what's the term which they use on there? Yeah, sponsored uh, ads. Sponsored product. Yeah, uh, PLA or, product or PLAs product. on Amazon. Yeah. Definitely have fun. Okay, go and uh, we're being absolutely serious here. In fact, it's off the screen. Okay, well, again, we're trying to give you as much value to uh, walk away with. Is that if you've never tried sponsored ads uh, on eBay or product listing? ads adverts uh, on amazon you should definitely give them a whirl obviously we're not saying do it for your entire inventory that would be nuts <laughs> however uh picking one or two select products for you to test out with a limited budget say five pounds a day ten pounds a day wherever your pain threshold is and seeing how it works for you is 
definitely worth the time, effort, and energy because I don't know if you've noticed lately, if you go on eBay or you go on Amazon, okay, we had this conversation last week. We had this conversation. Amazon will pimp themselves out oh, for yeah, a, yeah. a best, was it bestseller? It was, yeah, yeah it was, there's bestseller. Uh, Amazon's choice, we think they control, but bestseller, they're quite happy to sell that tag, it would seem. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. When it's blatantly not the best seller as well. So, yeah, very, very curious. Uh, so, yeah, come chuck some money out. And we're not saying it's fortune. We're just saying a couple of quid. Try it out for a week uh, and see what your results are like because it does make a difference. We had that discussion last week, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, it genuinely does make a difference. It does put items in my shop, in my point of view. Probably the biggest testament uh, is that I've got some funny RGB fans in the computer cases and the other two stations here. I bought one, both of them, I think, were sponsored results. No, one of them was sponsored and one of them wasn't. I sent the one back which wasn't, kept the one which was a, spent, a, a sponsored result, which was the easy DIY ones. I thought they were really good. I've bought a second set, and they were 30 quid. There you go. So, um, yeah, and the second time around, I, it wasn't a sponsored ad which I used because I found it from my orders, went in and reordered it. Uh, and it turned up next day, so happy days. Anyway, we need to get ourselves back onto the topic, which was uh, uh, get our butts back to eBay uh, in this instance. And uh, why we got to that was that the sponsors up here, so I've spoken enough about that. Uh, the one thing to, to take note here is that we're not seeing any of those stars at the top of these. Now, I am really, really curious is that whether we have... got them available to us but ebay are hiding them so i'm just going to grab the top there's another sponsored item <laughs> imagine you're in the shoes of a bar and you're looking for some four and a half inch blade for your angle grinder uh is the that one crept in and that one crept in as well they paid to jump the, the top Hey, hey. Ah, look, Dave, they are refusing. Well, they are have eBay has chosen not to show yeah. the ratings to us. Okay, because you got free ratings on that one. Uh, and next one, no ratings, but is a multi-variation listing. But which, by the way, if you don't know what multi-variation listings are, they are the best thing since sliced bread, which is available on eBay. There's no, they, we're not kidding on that. They're absolutely lethal. Uh, and for those of you which have not come across those before, and so those of you who know what we're talking about there, uh, just ignore this bit for a moment. But for those of you which have not come across them before, absolutely lethal. Instead of having uh, multiple listings, potentially for the same product, this one's a bit naughty, but um, this, if you've got variations, think about a dress, for example, you've got the same dress and it's available in multiple different colors and sizes okay and tell you what this is talking about this oh look there's another one in there uh let's get back to ebay uh dress women's is that if we've got a dress which is available in multiple colors uh you'll see <clears throat> you've got color and size available to you okay that makes it absolutely lethal uh, and the reason being is that instead of having a separate listing uh, for red, size 12, size 8, size 10, size 14, size 16, which you used to have to do in the old days. Why wow, there was so much spam on eBay. What they did is that they compressed it down and gave you something called variations. And you can either have single variations, maybe like this one, where you've got grit. Okay, so that's how my, how rough the disc is. And these uh, sanding, and those sanding pads or wheels, uh, 40 grit or 80 grit. Uh, or you could do color and size, and you can also create your own, your own options as well. Again, category dependent. Uh, and what that basically means is that you can potentially sell uh, a bucket load, 7,795 sales from a single eBay listing. Now, I don't know if you just spotted when we were here, that listing was quite near the top of the search results for quite a rough term, okay? Very loose term to say the least. Uh, and it was at the very top or very near the top uh, of the search results. And that's what a multi-variation listing can be. It can be extremely lethal because a listing with that many cells normally is going to be very near the top. And of course, as we worked out a few moments ago, uh, people are willing to pay to be near the top. 
uh, so that they get the sales. And it's just the same as on Amazon, higher rated products appearing in the top. Okay, just it, it's what you would expect as a consumer. Okay, uh, so getting back to our topic about the ratings, eBay has actually specifically elected not to show the ratings on this page, uh, which is a little peculiar. Uh, but that product does have free ratings in there. Uh, again, scrolling down, a few more item specifics. Look, they've got grinding discs in here where we didn't have that in the previous one or custom bundle modified. Like what the? I know why that's in there because eBay just get off it to you as an option. And they've obviously just filled it out. That was obviously filled out on the uh, sell your item form on eBay. Uh, I've been guessing the domestic products. Yeah, that I reckon that seller there actually created that item using the sell item form at the top of the page. But they did include standards and grinders and an EAN uh, as well. Uh, and that's just terrible. Um, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Uh, by the way, there's me saying, oh, God, that's terrible. Uh, but don't forget, in one seller's inadequacies, leaves the door open for you because I have yet to see a great listing uh, for these sanding discs, okay, or cut cutting discs. Okay, well, by the way, we're gonna we're gonna have sanding discs, we're gonna have cutting discs, and a whole collection of other ones. I'm just gonna say they're just discs, okay. Uh, wherever you see stuff like this, they're just leaving money on the table for you. Um, what professional? Reality, they've left it home that day when they created that listing can be in your favor in short grabbing this one nice listing because you've got variations you can choose a one disc and we can choose five discs again lack of reviews but they have sold 754 gonna quickly look in there uh not the fastest mover in the world but they are selling uh, in ones at least some did buy 10 down there as well by the way i don't know if you knew that you can click on the number sold uh, and it'll tell you how often they've been sold as well. That obviously doesn't tell you the buyers, uh, but they tell you the quantity in this case of how many have been sold. Item specifics, money's been left on the table. Bare minimum as possible been done in that template, where's our images, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm quickly going to move on as well. No reviews. That must have been one of the paid for ones. No, actually, no, 274 sold. Again, selling. Not the most expensive products in the world. Uh, grit, sanding pads. Again, plenty of sold. There's a re reason why it was near the top. None have sold recently. Sold a few in the last month or two. Scrolling down, severe lack of item specifics. No product did in there. More concerned about highlands and islands than the actual product detail itself. Oh, we're back at the dresses. Okay. Dave, I, I don't want to go in. I, I'm aware that we've been chatting for 42 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, we can go off in some major tangents here but i just want to, i think it's appropriate that we, we just try and summarize what we've been uncovered mm -hmm. which is that yes we have gone off on a tangent sorry nick it wasn't hydraulic hose saw blades <laughs> we ended up into four and a half inch cutting discs okay completely random brilliant okay i like where we ended up i hope you do too because it really does highlight it doesn't matter what category we end up in okay or what products we end up looking at there's always remember there's money just being left on the table for you to take because none of those listings which we looked at so we maybe worked at say eight or ten of them uh, separately none of them were perfect they would say they're all cheap and maybe not that product group specifically uh, is quite inexpensive personally i would suggest be looking uh, for products which are um say from 10 pounds to 20 to 30 pounds which are uh, I've got a decent potential margin profitability in them. Uh, but looking at that type of product, none of them were great at no. all. At all. They've, they've, I didn't see one which went, oh, look, they've done this. And we've yet to find the perfect eBay listing. And every single seller there, it, and one of them was blatantly obvious that they used to sell your item form on eBay. And I know that because I was got a collection of stuff myself here to go and get sold uh, or to get listed on eBay in a couple of nights' time. Uh, and it was blatantly being for the sell your item form on eBay and just filled out, should fill that out and really gave it no further thought. And that is where you can slip in. Create the perfect listing for angle grinder discs, fill out the information, fill out the information which you would want as a buyer. Okay, great quality time. Remember that first listing which you found, used every character in the top. Good images, okay, 
don't forget the scale image, include a coffee mug in the side or uh, a coin or, so, or a memory card if it's something very small, okay? Help the customer uh, work out the size of the item very, very quickly. So there's no shock horror that they turn the bobcat and it turns up and it's a bloody great big one and not a little toy, <laughs> dinky toy one or vice versa, okay? Uh, you're after giving your com uh, buyer's confidence. And uh, apologies, I have just been uh and uh since we got some comments in the live chat dave would you like just to quickly go for this absolutely, absolutely so uh jay kicked things off he said uh better to give needless instruction on ebay rather than receive frivolous negs or neutral feedback and that was in that was around the time we were talking about the description and how we prefer to keep it short and sweet uh but obviously, Jay has been on the wrong end of some ridiculous uh, bad feedback at some point because... And we both. Oh, we've all... We all been, have. Let's just we've be all fair. been there. I remember sewing an iPod Touch um, and someone left me a neutral feedback because it didn't include a remote. So uh, guess what? The, Apple doesn't make a remote for that product, so that's why it wasn't included. But it's... Uh, and, you know, what else could we have done other than say... This doesn't come with a remote because one hasn't been invented on the listing. You know, you'd have to, you know, this also doesn't come with a microwave because there's no such thing as an Apple microwave. You know, so it was, it, I get it. It's hard, but you can't fix stupid, unfortunately. One is always going to slip through the net. Indeed. So, yeah, Jay, we, uh, we feel your pain there. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, next up, hobby base. James, sorry, late to the party. Are these template-driven listings irrelevant and a little obsolete with the huge amount of users now going through mobile and not desktop? Um, I don't know. Over to you, Mal. What do you think? I actually disagree from my own buying habits over the last mm -hmm. couple of weeks is that, yes, I'll quite happily sit somewhere in the house and do some research uh, on, on a mobile device. Uh, but when it gets around to paying, unless it's a really cheap item, I'm actually back here on the desktop uh, and checking out there. I would definitely agree that listings need to be mobile friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as throwing away your only opportunity to brand while you're still able to do it on the eBay marketplace would be crazy. Mm -hmm. Because remember, that's one of the biggest things about Amazon. You can't put any branding on there that is yeah. you unless you have a specific brand and the product's branded and trademarked potentially uh, for on there. Uh, so yeah, James, I think you would be nuts not to do that. Uh, and, and I totally understand where that question's coming from. However, remember that if you look at the eBay stats, which they publish and et cetera, et cetera, basically what they say is that a very high number of listings are touched by mobile but I think you'll be shocked by how many listings actually then get finished. Yeah, uh, actually converted on a desktop. Converted, and vice versa. Yeah. Okay. I, would say, I would say the same as well, just from my personal experience. Like, I hate the eBay app. I will not bother with the eBay app. I will go on the mobile website, uh, and I am the person who will click view more on the description, and then I will also scroll right to the bottom and go to view desktop mode on my phone if I need to, because I don't, if I don't find that the mobile version is giving me enough information, I will go and try and get the desktop version if I'm not at my computer. So I would totally agree with Matt. Like for me, just as a buyer, as a consumer on eBay, uh, and I'm, I don't go on there much, but if I am browsing, if I'm looking at something, I will often end up on there. But often in my case, Amazon does it, will get it me quicker um for not that much more money um yeah I, I i agree with matt i i would say you don't want to lose any whilst you still can brand and you still can have some element of influence um you should you should be making the most of it yeah absolutely in fact can i just quickly just go and write sure. a topic i need yeah. to because i've literally just spotted this while uh we've been live is that uh do go and investigate amazon a little bit more that there's definitely changes going on uh, with Amazon right now, uh, procedure checkout. That was not that Ooh, color. That's a horrendous color. <laughs> it's it it looked quite orange on my screen actually, uh, on my main screen. But on my side screens, it's a luminous. It's the yeah, same. Yeah, it's color really. Yeah, it's all like a bananagrams yellow. Yeah. Um, yeah. On the left hand side. So there are changes going on with Amazon. He's not fit their branding. I think someone's 
broken some CSS on the bottom somewhere. The gradient's gone wrong. <laughs> yeah, I did hit shift and refresh on it, Dave, yeah. just to see if it was yeah. if, if it was that. But no, no, it's that's what they've done. So they are there's definitely changes of foot uh, on the uh, on Amazon. As we, as we mentioned at the beginning, obviously been a home homepage uh, redesign as well. So they're clearly working on something. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and by the way, I, the reason why I was in my car is because I was researching that. That's a good example because I did a preliminary search on my mobile phone in that certain room in the house. Uh, and then I came, I got earmarks, earmarks a few items. I came back to my desktop, looked at the pictures in, on a decent size, because essentially I was buying or buying some posh cables, which are going to go inside of a computer case, uh, which means they were chatting about we were a bit nerdy beforehand. <laughs> Most people, are, no, nobody's ever going to see them. And it's just me, which is going to know it's in there. Um, so actually it's a frivolous 28 pounds 58, which I'm likely to spend uh, after we've gone live, uh, finished being live on YouTube, uh, is the researched it on a mobile phone, came back to the desktop, and narrowed it down to a specific result. And now it's sat in the car, and I may end up either checking that out. You know, I could do it here at the desk because now I'm. It doesn't matter if I order it now or later. Um, is that I could check out the desktop, or it could be on the phone, or it could be on the tablet. And it could be at two o'clock tomorrow morning when I wake up with an insomnia again. Um, so I don't think mobile branding is obsolete. I think it's more important than ever. Hmm. Um, as I, one I, I think it's one of those. You have to take every advantage which you have available to you. And whilst eBay is still allowing you to have some aspects of control over that, for how long is a very good question with the product catalog changes coming into play. Make the most of it while you can. Yeah, so James, we hope that answers your question uh, in mm -hmm. short. Uh, again, take summary. Every advantage which is available to you, like 69 to specifics, a dozen images, 80 characters in the title, straightforward layout of a description, product description, take advantage of those. Adding an additional payment uh, postage option to catch the buyers who are willing to pay extra uh, for next day or 48 hours shipping instead of a free shipping option as well. Cover all the bases, okay? Do what you're allowed to do in short. Uh, so a quick look. Jay also says, the product-based model eBay claims to be moving to sort of ne negates the template concept, but not yet. So yeah, Jay, so that's basically yep. carrying on. And there, I think e as much as eBay want to move to this catalog environment they really are dragging their heels really slowly it's like he's like dragging a kid to school who doesn't want to go and they're just <laughs> dragging they've worn the front of their toes out on their shoes okay that's that's what ebay is like right now uh moving to a product-based catalog they they're just not moving there any any time soon okay uh, so yes, take every advantage which you've got available to, to you uh, while it's still going, okay? Or while it's not Amazon, eBay. Uh, Nick says, uh, do these work the same as Google Pal? I think he was at that point. Nick was talking about the uh, Amazon product level ads. Oh, uh, PLAs. Yes. PLAs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much. If you if you if you're used to using AdWords with Google, um, the the fundamentals are very much the same on Amazon. There is obviously a difference in how it interacts and how the user face user interface looks, um, but the fundamentals are very much the same. Uh, you'll get the odd weird thing like ACOS, which I think Amazon uses advertising cost of spend, I believe. Um, but yeah, if you if you're familiar with AdWords, you'll pick up. Amazon PLA is pretty quickly mm -hmm. on the whole. Yeah, the fundamentals are the same. Yeah, and if you've never heard of those or looked into those before, do take that away as so maybe a little bit of um, research to be done afterwards. Uh, we generally do mean it. Just chuck a couple of quid at it and see how you get on. I hope we think you're going to be generally surprised, especially for the more popular items. It's only going to accelerate what they're already doing, and you really do bump yourself to the top. I don't know if you saw my shopping cart a minute ago. Uh, there were some of those easy DIY um, uh, fans in there, and I got to, uh, that's the other set which I got in there, which is the set in this one as well. Anyway, 
Uh, moving on, and the last one, uh, which was from James, would be interesting to see A-B tests on that to see which converts better or if there's any difference at all. Yeah, James, this is a really hard one uh, mm -hmm. to do, which is eBay, because you just don't control the checkout process. Okay, it's not like your own website. We're running A, B, C tests is very, very straightforward uh, and very simple to measure. eBay is not, you don't control anything outside of your listing. It's all done by eBay. And the only person which knows this information is eBay and they don't do a particularly great job of sharing it with you. So I, I, I know personally, I would have loved see what those kind of results are what are the difference between a well done template and a no template or even a bad template not be someone anymore big text all over the place i would love to know what the differences are between them gut instinct tells me a well laid out sensibly branded item is going to do better than one of those terrible ones that's pretty much guaranteed as for a very simplistic listing with just a few bullet points in I don't know. I don't mm. know. It would somewhat put me off unless they had bloody good images at the top and it was ultra clear what the product was. Uh, for anything more of a specification in it, say, for example, a camera uh, or, say, a flight control board, uh, then it would raise questions. So, yeah, it's a curious one. I'd love... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. We, we agree with you. Yeah, then we understand what you meant, uh, James, there. Sorry, I meant some listings having templates and some don't. Yeah, absolutely. I, I know what you actually mean there. Uh, but there, there's actually three ways you would do it without no template, a really badly one, made one. Um, like a basic, yeah, basic one. Yeah. And then a rich, feature rich one. A feature rich one. Well, and I'm, I'm using the term well laid out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for it, because we've seen listings which have not been well laid out today. Anyway, so yeah, good questions there, Jay. Just, I'm just going to throw this one in from Dale actually as well. I was chatting with Dale, messaged me earlier this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, long term, long standing uh, UE guy. He's, <laughs> he kicks off with this eBay catalog is being run by monkeys. <laughs> I had a rich 80 character long tail, long tail keyword title that they have said uh, they're changing it to Preform Hybrid Trainer Pro 2. What the fuck? Uh, I've had hundreds of these happen. It's made a real mess of my listing. So Dale is obviously listing in a category which is being, uh, which is eligible for eBay catalog, and eBay are now going in and changing uh, titles in order to best match the product. And what he's saying is he had an 80 character long, long tail keyword rich title, which we've been telling you to do for a long time, and eBay has just gone in and replaced it with like a 40 character title. Um, his, he was saying everything that you guys teach at the minute seems to be going out the window uh, as they're racing to get a buy box like feel, hoping it's going to fix everything for them. Obviously, talking about eBay, so that does beg some questions: as what will eBay look like when they do eventually roll out an eBay catalog? Um, how much control will sellers have over titles, and how will eBay, just like Amazon, can? Uh, overwrite titles and uh, change your bullet points and stuff like that. So it is. It is going to be a curious one. What I would say is that obviously Dell, by his use of language, there is frustrated. He's not happy. Money. He's not happy, bunny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which, which is fair. You probably wouldn't be either. No, no. Um, but do keep in the back of your mind. Times of change are always times of opportunity. Uh, they where someone else gets frustrated with something, you really should be looking for. Right? How can I bend this? to better what we're doing uh and once you work out how you can do that because they because i'm sure they'll vent some frustration we know what dell's like and he's going to carry on and work with it <laughs> but, you know he's, he's, he's been around long enough to know what he needs to do uh but there are going to be people who just get really frustrated they're going to shout they're going to swear and say ebay's going down the panny and things like that um but those who just shut up and just move on and move with it tend to win and make more money at the end of the day, which is the ultimate goal there. Brilliant. Uh, James just put uh, in there, uh, oh, forgot to say, I went to along to e-commerce expo a couple of weeks ago, and it was brilliant, so much better than I went four years ago. Uh, shopware were there, and they look fantastic. Uh, mm. And Dale says I'm working on it. <laughs> Dale is here. Thank you, Dale. Um, you yeah, no, James, it was... Um... 
yeah, I'm, I'm glad to see Commerce Expo was good. Like I said, we, we did some work with those guys over at Eastside Cafe, so glad to see that it was a good event. Uh, I didn't make it down. Um, but yeah, hopefully maybe next year we will uh, we can do something with those guys. I will be at e-commerce show north next month. Um, but yeah, no, good to hear. Glad to hear that the conferences are getting better because there was a very much a dry dry spell with them in terms of value. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully things are on the turn. Indeed. Right. On that note, we would like to say a massive thank you to you for taking the time to join us here live uh, for this week's Mastermind. Dave, have you got any idea what we're doing next week? Because we have been in green parts in some of the ones which we're going to be doing very shortly. Uh, we have... Like, I, I got you, didn't I? Top, you did. Yeah, I had to go quickly scrolling. The top, <laughs> top 50 eBay sellers and what do they sell? That's what we'll be looking at next week. Brilliant. Now, by the way, no guarantees we're going to get through the top 50 at all. No. Uh, but we're going to have a look to see what some of the biggest accounts are actually doing uh, on the eBay marketplace. Uh, because that's one of the nice things. I still remember when I first started selling on eBay. I remember I spent my Christmas day uh, just after lunch on the computer with an Excel spreadsheet working out how many items different sellers had sold and what items they were and stuff like that. eBay is a very transparent marketplace. And again, there were, then I discovered tools like TerraPeak, for example, which they have nerfed a bit since. Uh, but at least you can get a very good idea of what a specific business is doing. Uh, and there, there are tools out there to help you. So, yeah, looking forward to that one. So we'll see what the top 50-ish are doing live next week. Anyway, on that note, it is time for us to wrap up. Massive thank you to you for taking the time to join myself, Matt. And of course, Dave, too, here live for this week's Mastermind. We will be alive next week, exactly the same time, 3 p.m. UK time. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments about anything which we've been in discussed here uh, live with you, you can either leave a comment underneath this video on YouTube or nip across to our website over at understandinge.com. Also, if you've enjoyed this video, do us the favors, hit the thumbs up. And on that note, it's time for us to go. For myself, Matt. And from me, Dave, hope you have a great week, guys. Indeed. Cheerios. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye. <laughs> We're so bad at that. <laughs> I know. Terrible. Right. You guys should know the script by now. Indeed it is. Cheerios. Bye.